Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about drama. Drama over in Bella Vista, Bella Vista housing, Bella Vista short-term rentals specifically. So if you're an investor or maybe you're looking to move down to the area or moving down here, these are things you definitely need to be aware of if you're moving into Bella Vista. So let's cover that drama. So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you like and share this video with a friend or family, that would make the world a difference. I try to produce as much content as humanly possible about Northwest Arkansas, obviously. So liking and also sharing, make sure that everyone can live, work, and play all in NWA. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Also, if you are coming down to Northwest Arkansas, definitely call me, definitely text me. Let me know when you're coming into town. We can grab some coffee, look at some homes for sale, look at some homes for rent, and just enjoy and kind of talk about the whole area and why I moved from Chicagoland area and I can pick anywhere I wanted to in America, why I chose right here. And if you haven't been down to Northwest Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly what it, what it is, literally a starter pack full of all the cool things in Northwest Arkansas. What's going on down to Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What is going on over at the Pinnacle Hills? What are the hospitals like? What are the schools like? All the things you'd want to know about North Arkansas, boop, 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 boop. package right to your home, shipped right to your home. I literally package it right to your home. So enter your name below, enter your address below. Where am I shipping this package to? Where is this package going to? Let me know all the information below. I'll make sure that it gets the package shipped to you right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike. So that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite four letter F word. Free! So enter your information below. I'll make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. All right. So this drama is actually talking about the short term rental predicament, can of worms, obstacle, problems over in Bella Vista. If you weren't aware, Bella Vista did put a cap on short term rentals in Bella, Bella Vista, obviously. And it's kind of funny because this could actually be read similar to like almost like a newscast. Like it's kind of like a drama report kind of thing coming on here. Let me, let me see if I can do that real quick. Let's see if it, let's see if it works. And welcome to Channel 5 News. My name is Poppy Harlow. Today we have some breaking news coming from the quaint town known as Bella Vista in Northwest Arkansas. Everyone loves it for its trail systems. Everyone loves it for its pools, its golf courses, its amazing outdoor experiences. But little do you know the drama that is rising out of Bella Vista. Short-term rental owners are fighting against the board of Bella Vista. Who will win? Stay tuned, 5 p.m. at K59 News at 7 at five. Well, maybe I should probably just uh, stick to uh, doing uh, videos on YouTube instead of uh, drama reports, newscasts, so to speak. But let's talk about some of the effects and also some of the things it means about the short-term rentals over in Bella Vista. And the first thing we need to talk about when it comes to the short-term rental debacle happening over in Bella Vista is actually a little bit of a recap. So if you weren't aware, Bella Vista actually uh, started implementing, this has been a works in for a couple of years now, but Bella Vista actually put into like effect a short-term rental cap uh, when it comes to uh, Bella Vista itself. So they capped it at 600 and the term short-term rental is anything rented less than 30 days. Now, obviously the hack of all this is to rent it longer than 30 days, obviously, <laughs> midterm rentals, long-term rentals. But besides the fact, short-term rentals lower than 30 days and they require a permit and an inspection to make sure the house is safe, et cetera, just make sure it's the usual stuff when it comes to those kind of things. So that's kind of the recap. And of course, a lot of people weren't happy for obvious reasons, people bought homes, et cetera, et cetera. All the, fun, all the fun stuff when it came to that. So that's kind of the recap that happened with Bella Vista as they capped it, they put uh, some permitting process, and now we're in, a, that's kind of a little bit of a quick recap there. And the second thing when it comes to the short-term rentals in Bella Vista, and this is the kind of the weird part, is that it's been paused. Freedom, all the things. So uh, there's actually been a counter lawsuit that went against Bella Vista to kind to basically force the hand of Bella Vista to kind of pause this until a judge decides what to do. So currently, as we speak, recording this video, uh, any, there's no permitting process, there's nothing going on in Bella Vista because they need to decide in court. Like, is this a legal thing to do in the state of Arkansas? Is it a legal thing to do in Bella Vista? So a judge has granted a, basically a, like a stopping point, like say Bella Vista no more, until this is solved in court. And so uh, this is obviously a very good step for the homeowners of Bella Vista and for people that want to eliminate this kind of thing in general when it comes to Bella Vista, when it comes to the capping of the short-term rental. And so uh, that's kind of a big win for them. And they were talking about it just on the, on like basically the, the, the Facebook page is essentially about that they've got this thing in court, like an injunction essentially to stop all this uh, permitting process in Bellavis at the moment. Whoa, whoa, before we jump on to the next point, I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're looking to move down to the area and you're looking at Zillow.com, Realtor.com or Redfin, way too slow. Notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds exactly what it is. It's literally instant home updates. 
So enter your name below, enter your information below, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, where you're looking to move to North, North of Arkansas, where do you want to move to, all the things you want to find in a home, let me know in all the information below. I'll make sure to miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in North of Arkansas. Also, side note, every single Friday, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things north of Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? When is First Fridays? Obviously, First Fridays. When is First Thursdays? Obviously, First Thursdays. What is going on in Pinnacle Hills? What's going on in Rogers? What's going on in downtown Rogers? What new bands are coming to the amphitheater? What's going on in JJ's Live? What new business? So much, so much going on all the time. So if you want to keep up to date with all things NWA, enter your email below, enter your name below. I'll make sure that you get that email every single Friday, just kind of keeping it up, up to date with all the cool things happening here. But like I said, side note, you will get a little fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make your way down to North Arkansas. And number three, the question is like, uh, how are they doing this? Like what kind of law are they using here? both in Bella Vista as well as uh, the law of Arkan Arkansas or something like that. So a little bit of a side note, in Illinois, uh, this is where the differences becomes between the sometimes between Illinois, Colorado, California, et cetera, et cetera, all those other states that have uh, more, we'll say, uh, problems, so to speak. But uh, what happened was that Arkansas actually put on the books a law that kind of really says that HOAs and POAs do, are not allowed to uh, disable or not allow people to not to not use their short houses as short-term rentals. So basically they're saying like HOAs, POAs, you can't not allow that. So that law went on the books, which gave precedence to this lawsuit to say, hey, Bella Vista, look at this piece of paper. So that's kind of what it all happened. So it is interesting to live in a state where they allow, I would consider more freedom, so to speak, and allows, puts those freedoms in the books of, of, of the law. So it definitely is interesting coming from Chicagoland, which is, <laughs> that is not the case there. So definitely appreciate living in Arkansas when they have those laws in the books. Now the big question number four, uh, why do they do this? Why did Belvis even do this? What is the whole point of all these, you know, this short-term rental ban? And so this is more of a theory than anything. So a couple of different theories here. Let's talk about this. Let's, let's get real for a second. Part of the reason why they did this is because they didn't want to have a bunch of short-term rentals, people coming through the whole area all the time. Years ago, uh, actually two year, two. this is the third summer, third summer, th uh, two summers ago, they opened up the 49 bypass that went around Bella Vista. Before, all traffic uh, through North Arkansas went through Bella Vista. That was crazy. When I first moved here, oh my God, that was insane. So the bypass made all the traffic go around Bella Vista, which allowed Bella Vista to grow exponentially because it's only traffic of people living there that actually goes through Bella Vista. So that made a big difference. More commercial spaces opened up, more businesses moved here, et cetera, and it's growing a lot. But part of it is that they want to, uh, this is my assumption here, they want to cramp down, clamp down on an exorbitant amount of uh, short-term rentals because housing, housing is affordable there. So people can buy homes and, and short-term rent them out. There's trail systems. There's so many things happening in Bella Vista. And so they want to put a cap on it. And so they did put a cap of 600 on there. And I'm guessing this kind of logic there. A little side note, Eureka Springs did the same thing about two years ago, two, two three, three years ago now, because Eureka Springs is a very touristy heavy area. It definitely is part of North Arkansas, but it is on the far north eastern edge of North Arkansas, wedged between Branson and basically and, and NWA. And so Eureka Springs is a pass-through city, huge tourism, kind of a biker city, kind of cool town, a lot of different fun things to do up there, but you really can't build a city with a bunch of short-term rentals. It's just not a very, you, you can't do it. And so I think Bella Vista saw this and wanted to put a little bit of cap in there as well. Now I say all that to say on top of that, there is probably a lot of influence around hotels as well. It's hard, let's just be real, it's hard to convince a hotel like let's build a $10 million hotel in downtown Benton or maybe potentially Bella Vista or whatever the, or, or wherever it is. But there's even more cheaper housing over in Bella Vista. So I'm sure there's a lot of things going on with that. I'm sure of it as well, because obviously NWA is growing exponentially and hotels want to move here. They are building a lot of hotels as we speak, but I know there's probably a lot of conversations behind the doors as well. I am sure of that. And the fifth and final thing, and kind of the main question that you might be asking yourself is just a person looking to move here, is uh, how does this affect me? What does this affect to, not me, but you, huh? But people moving to North of Arkansas, people moving to Bella Vista. So let's little, do a little bit of recap again about what Bella Vista is. Bella Vista is a amazing affordable place to buy housing, trail systems, lakes, pools, recreation centers, pickleball courts, there's a shooting range, there's a like 
pickleball. Like uh, there's a uh, frisbee golf. There's obviously like there's like uh, I think nine. Uh, whatever, I think it's up to nine now. Nine full on golf courses, and then obviously if are 18 holes, and then there's a couple nine holers. There's mini golf. So much going on in Bella Vista. So if you are looking to move to the area, just know it is an amazing place to live, to work, and play. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're coming down here. Now, they are having a little drama with the short term rentals obviously, but overall, Bella Vista, amazing place to live. Affordable housing, all the amazing things. It's really like your own little slice of paradise tucked away in North Arkansas. It really is a fun place. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, download my 3D itinerary link below. Maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. There's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it when you get down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, I'll see you next one. Ooh.